What is up, guys? Today we're checking out another song. This one by a band I guarantee you've never heard, unless you're really up to date with the latest releases of bands and songs. This one is by a band called Many Eyes. The song is called Revelation or Revelations. I don't know anything about this band really, other than the singer is Keith Buckley, the former singer of Every Time I Die. Every Time I Die split up, and the rest of the band essentially formed a super group called Better Lovers with Greg from Dillinger Escape Plan on vocals. And Keith uh, is now revealed that he made a new band called Many Eyes. And this is their first song, first single, so I have no idea what to expect, other than the fact that it probably sounds similar to Every Time I Die. But who knows? He, he could be going a completely different direction on this, maybe you know, soft rock for all I know. I really don't have any idea what to expect, but uh, I'm excited to check it out because I absolutely love Keith Buckley. He's always been top tier for me in terms of metal vocals. So I'm really excited to hear what we get from him this time. Uh, so without fur any further ado, this is Many Eyes Revelation. Let's get it. It's getting hot in here. All righty, Keith. Bring it. So far, this sounds heavy. <laughs> yeah, this is what I wanted. I love that strumming pattern on the guitar. Oh yeah. This visualizer reminds me a lot of the Every Time I Die visualizers that they put out for the Radical album. I'll put a little picture of what that looked like here, but this is, from what I'm seeing here, this looks very similar to what Every Time I Die had going on. I'll have to check the lyrics out after, too. Okay, some clean vocals from Greg. Er, from Keith, not Greg. Mmm. That's nice. Oh, yeah. If you told me this was an Every Time I Die song, I'd believe you. I would 100% believe you. If it wasn't for the chorus. The chorus it's kind of sounds different. It's, it veers off a little bit of the path that Every Time I Die stood on. Um, but like these verses and the tempo and the rhythm is very Every Time I Die. I am the like, come on. <laughs> yeah. This is sick. Bring me that chorus. Ooh, this is catchy. I love this. That's a cool visual. Wow. Where are we going? I have no idea. I'm gonna put my drink down just in case this gets heavy. Oh. oh, that double kick. Hell yeah, that's so sick. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Back to this catchy chorus. That part is so sick. I really want to know who's drumming and who's doing the guitars on this. Like, I want to know the rest of the band. I know Keith is Keith is a singer, but like, the band sounds so tight. It sounds so. There's so many different elements of the band that sounds like every time I die, but there's so many elements that that are like a breath of fresh air that are that's very different than what we heard from typical every time I die. I'm curious who the band is. I'm gonna look that up immediately after. And the lyrics as well. Because <laughs> Keith is a lyrical god. <laughs> Sorry, we're going into a bit of a breakdown-ish section here. I'm gonna Rewind, play that back. Oh, such a good chorus. <laughs> oh, he's pissed. He's pissed. <laughs> I didn't know if they were going to go into another breakdown there or not. <laughs> that was so good. Keith Buckley delivers again. <laughs> so, so I've done a little bit of research here. And um, according to this website, Keith shares, my vision for this visual was to present something both familiar and otherworldly, which is definitely kind of goes along with what I was saying. Like, I've definitely heard this before. It, it sounds familiar, but at the same time, it's a breath of fresh air. It's otherworldly. It's like, every time I die, 2.0. Like, it is something new, but it has that nostalgia that that holds true to what every time I die was. And I know this isn't in every time I die resurrection that Keith is trying to make here. I know, I understand that he's trying to start a new thing, but it has that influence and you can't deny that like that influence of every time i die is definitely there but anyways keith goes on to say something that feels as if it were in this world but not of it it's very biblical of you keith <laughs> it's very biblical um, it draws from my love of jordorowski's the holy mountain as much as it does my adoration of all christian iconography christianity for the win <laughs> the result is an eerily modern mystic vibe that seamlessly blends with the theme of the lyrics and the feel of the record as a whole yeah i can't wait to check out the, the lyrics of this album after hearing what keith shared on the place that these lyrics were written from for this new album or ep that they have coming up um, i'm super stoked to check out the rest of it but yeah i, I couldn't be more pleased with this album like you have or the album, the single. You have the, the chorus, which was just ridiculously catchy and new and a breath of fresh air, as I've already said. But then you have the verses, which were just completely relentless. And then the breakdown, which was so every time I die, just like that heavy hitting, just like, you can't deny it. Like, you gotta bob your head to that breakdown. <laughs> it's so good. Fuck off, I'm in love. But that's the part of every time I die that Keith was, there, was able to carry over and deliver in many eyes. Um, and in a lot of ways, the every time I die breakup was so heartbreaking and so soul crushing. But at the same time, Better Lovers completely blew my expectations way out of the water. And many eyes from the one single that we have from them has also completely blow my expectations out of the water. In fact, I didn't have any expectations because I didn't even know that Keith was going to continue doing music, to be perfectly honest. 
Um, but I'm so thankful that he chose to continue doing this and he was like, you know what, this is what I love, this is what I'm good at. I'm gonna keep doing it. If it's not under the name of Every Time I Die, I'm gonna do it under a different name, but I'm gonna keep this thing going as long as I can. And I'm so glad that he, he decided to do that because this band kicks ass. I'm telling you, I love these guys. And I've only heard one song. I can't wait till they put out their EP or album, whatever it is. I'm here for it all. Keith, keep producing these dope ass tracks. I am down for them all. Um, yeah, I, I don't have too much more to say, guys. I just, I encourage you to go look at the, the original lyric video. The link is in the description. Um, check out Better Lovers. Everything to do with Every Time I Die. They're such like a, a cornerstone band in metalcore community and just metal community in general. I think Better Lovers in many eyes have long futures ahead of them. And I'm here for all of it. They've both bands have simultaneously kind of reconciled that heartbreak that I initially had for every time I die breaking up for a while there. It hurt to even listen to the music, to listen to old every time I die. Because I was like, oh these guys aren't even together anymore. Like they're done. I'm never gonna hear another every time I die song, like a new one. But these two bands kind of make up for it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all for this video. If you guys have any other videos you want me to check out, please drop them below in the comments, and I'll be sure to get to them when I can. With that being said, that's it for this video. Peace out.